The next topic is magnetic flux. And this is really exactly the same as electric flux, except for instead of the electric field dotted on the area, this is the magnetic field dotted on the area. So if you're in the AP Physics C class, you'll have to use this to figure out the magnetic flux. It's the integral of B dot dA. If you're in the B class or the AP Physics 2 class, it's just B dotted on A. We won't be changing the magnetic field on you. It'll just be a constant field. Remember that dot product, though, does consist of multiplying the two magnitudes, but then multiplying them also by the angle between the two vectors. So we do have to recall here that the A vector is always perpendicular to the surface that it represents. So notice here's our surface right there. This angle is 90 degrees. Our A vector is 90 degrees away from the surface itself. So whenever you dot B on A, like in this case, if the flux is straight through like that through this surface, that angle between these two, B, between B and A, is zero in this example because the B vector is parallel to the A vector. So make sure that you understand that the dot product is between the B vector and the A vector, which is perpendicular to the surface itself. So notice that when we have this situation here, where our B field is perpendicular to our A vector, there is no flux. Flux is just like flow. It's like how much water is flowing through this screen. And you can see in this situation, what we have right here, if these are the B vectors right there, and our A vector is up like this, the dot product gives us zero. It's like it's missing the screen. So nothing's going through like that. So as long as you can multiply B dotted on A or the integral of B dot dA, you've got the magnetic flux. And we're going to need that big time. Click on the videos to write for a much more detailed review of flux concepts, including the fluid volume flux analogy and electric flux.